Hello. So I curled my hair. Do you like? So this is a full coverage routine for acne. I've been super, super into makeup lately. Of course, I've always been obsessed with makeup. I've actually made my very first YouTube video 2015, I think. So it was like five years ago. I'm just gonna go in right away with the, yeah, the Spotlight Illuminating Primer by Physicians Formula. So, so, so good. It's so nourishing. It is age-defying. It has like retinol or something in it. I don't know. All I know is it makes your skin look so glowy and so fresh. This is what this looks like. Physicians Formula. I just love this formula and Tarte and Marc Jacobs. Those are like my favorite. Look at that. This is a primer. It's so nice. I already moisturized and did all that. Look at that stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. That looks so good. I actually tried to attempt to do a makeup tutorial when I was like, I don't even know how old I was. I think I was like in grade nine or something in high school. <laughs> that was a fail just because, oh, I look so greasy. Hey, because like I didn't have any good lighting. I mean, it wasn't horrible. Maybe I should like do a reaction video or something to my very first makeup tutorial video I've done. <laughs> it's on private right now because I'm so embarrassed of it, but maybe I'll like unleash it again eventually and just like do a reaction or something. Yeah, I did not know what I was doing. I'm more knowledgeable of makeup now, but I mean, I've always loved makeup and like everyone's order that they do everything in. Okay, so I'm just gonna go into a foundation. So this is Studio Smashbox 15 hour wear hydrating foundation, oil free. And I'm gonna combine this with the Marc Jacobs. This is in the shade Bisque Golden. This stuff is so heavy duty when it comes to acne coverage. So I'm just gonna put one layer of this on and then I'm just gonna go in after with this just on the areas that I feel like need any extra coverage because I still want to look quite natural. I'll just dot it. <laughs> I kind of like lost my makeup inspiration lately. So I kind of want to bring back a bit more makeup. I don't know, maybe I was just like cringing at my makeup videos when I was younger and then I tried to do more makeup videos and then I just kind of lost that. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. The amount of redness is in my skin is crazy. The Smashbox foundation, like it still lets some imperfections peek through and like it still looks really natural. Like a second skin, so that's why I really enjoy it. And also it's really good for everyday use because it doesn't contain any alcohol in it. I'm still am waiting for my physician's formula package. I ordered like literally over $200 worth of stuff for my physician's formula, like just makeup because I love physician's formula so much. I'm still waiting for that because I wanted to do a whole video about that and like what I got and like my reviews on stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna be taking just a bit of Rx Jacob. So there's some here. Some, like texture. I just swipe it from here. I just hate how unsanitary this whole thing is. I think like every YouTuber makeup tutorial I've ever seen that has this or use this always says that it's so unsanitary because it's true. It's just so annoying. But this thing, like it spreads so much. Look at that. It like covers everything. I don't like to use it all over my face just because it does contain alcohol and it is a bit drying. It can irritate the skin a bit. So I just dot it in the places that really, really need it. Also because it'll look a bit more natural. Natural. You just put in the foundation just like a bit after the fact. Right down the neck. I'm gonna go straight into eyebrows now. I'm just gonna quickly put on the Kat Von D concealer on my eyes just to cover it up before I do my brow. I don't put concealer on my actual bags just yet just because I don't want to put any powder on my face before I do my brows. Because if I put on powder on my face before I do my brows, if I were to do like the dip brow right after having powder, it's going to clump up and it's going to get super messy. My brows will look just so unnatural because if you have powder or dry spots, cream will actually grasp onto those dry spots. So I'm just going to grab a mirror real quick. This is just the Anastasia dip brow brown and medium brown. I start from like the middle and then I go outwards towards the tail and fill in the rest and then with the excess then that's when I go in the very front. So then I don't risk getting those block brows because those blocky kind of brow look. I mean if that's your look go for it but in my opinion it does not look as natural as opposed to just putting most of your product from the middle outwards and then putting the least amount of product towards the inner brow part I guess. And then after once you do the other one just brush everything out. I'll link all my products down below and my brushes as well and I'll probably put them on the screen as well on top of that so you, you all know if you're curious and I will uh, again with the Kat Von D I'm going to be carving out my brows this is an eyeliner brush from elf 
It's just called the eyeliner brush, but it's so good for carving out your eyebrows. And I just put a bit of the concealer on my hand. I've never used to carve my eyebrows out before. Before carving out my eyebrows, I don't know how I manage. I don't know how I function, you know? Yeah, no, carving out your eyebrows really, really does make a huge difference. It just cleans up everything so much. It just creates a bit of dimension in the face. For all of you wondering, um, I actually did manage to get my food intolerance test results today. But you will see a video on that pretty soon. If I could figure out once and for all, Oh, what the heck is messing me up? <laughs> Ooh. All right. And then I just take my Morphe N335. This is a super tiny like concealer brush, I guess. And then I just buff out all the rough edges if my carving needs a bit more uh, blending. So we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. Nice. So this is when I put on the concealer. Right after the concealer, that's when I actually will powder my whole face. Again, I put on my concealer last, so then I can put on my powder right away and no creasing will happen. And then on top of that, I put on powder absolutely last even after I carve my eyebrows because I'm gonna be having to apply concealer anyway to carve up my eyebrows. Powder in the eyebrows before you do them and draw them on, it just is not a good look. It literally grasps on again to all the dry patches and it just is a, it's a mess. So doing your concealer and then powder last after your face makeup, it works for me at least. And then I personally prefer to apply concealer with my ring finger because it really warms up the product and melts it in, especially for something like a thick concealer such as this, or like even the Tarte Shape Tape, which is super thick. This is like an extremely thick concealer, so that's why I really like just warming it up with the fingers, so then it like spreads so much more thinly, looks more natural, and then just pat it in. I just wipe the excess on my eyelids. This is a really bright looking concealer. So then immediately I go in with Cotier Spun Loose Powder. This is seriously the first time I wore makeup, honestly, in like the past two weeks. I'm not even kidding. I just thought I would do uh, another makeup video. Makeup is just one of those things, it just makes me feel just super good. Like, again, I only wear makeup like once every week. Like that's me generously using makeup. <laughs> but sometimes there's weeks where I just wanna wear it every day and there's nothing wrong with that either. Yeah, I just right away go around my nose and then my eyelid, just go around my eyebrows with like this super thin uh, 660 Luxie Precision Brush, foundation brush, that's what this is called. And then I ensure that I won't get any powder in my brows. And if I do happen to get powder in my brows, I just brush them out with a spoolie and problem solve. Just get my nose. I go in with a bigger brush for my actual like whole face. And then of course tap it. And then I just press it in. Also, end of September, I'm going to finally ask for more work as a DJ because I'm in school right now with the production. I just haven't had the opportunity to do any gigs lately. So, and then I've been getting some comments. Some of you asking like, oh, when are you gonna finally show day in the life of a DJ or whatever, he's a producer. So I really wanna start doing those videos more. I think they'd be super entertaining, uh, but for sure, let me know if you wanna see those. Now we're just going to do the bronzing. We're gonna warm up the face again. So I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs. This is like my favorite bronzer right now. It is the Tantastic in 104. The Coconut Perfect Tan, and it's not too dark. I feel like the other one was a bit too dark. This one is like a bit lighter, really nice because it's just really warms up the face. Oh man. I guess like this past week, it was like the long weekend for my school. I was studying of course, but on Monday, I literally binge watched the whole season of Stranger Things in one go. <laughs> like, and I didn't even mean to do that. You know, doing some work, getting some work done and I was like, okay, I need a study break. So we'll just, you know, see what's going on. And then I was looking on YouTube YouTube, there was like nothing that interests me. So then I went to Netflix because I really wanted to watch a movie. And then I was like, eh, whatever. Stranger Things I've never watched before. Like I watched the first two seasons and then the third one came out and everyone was like talking about it. So I was like, okay, I'll just watch one episode of Stranger Things. It's only what, 45 minutes an episode, 50 minutes. So that's even shorter than a movie, which is better. That's not as much time I, you know, have to use up. <laughs> 
turns out, I tell myself this every single time, every time I start any sort of television show on Netflix, I always have to watch the whole thing in one day because I just get so anxious. I just have to know what happens next. <laughs> if I would have just watched a movie, which was like an hour and a half, that would have saved me much more time than accidentally basically watching a whole season of Stranger Things. And that took up like eight hours. Yeah, it's a bit of a difference. It happens to the best of us, it happens to the worst of us. That was quite a, quite the evening. That's quite the party. <laughs> Speaking of party, this is the tart in the name Party with three A's. Amazon Clay 12 Hour Blush. This is a super, super natural, very, very natural blush. I love blushes so much. They make me feel so alive. But yeah, let me know if you watch Stranger Things, um, the third season. What did you like about it? What did you not expect? What did you not like about it? Let me know. <laughs> I love Stranger Things so much. I just love the whole 80s. Honestly, I like their soundtrack a lot. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the band The Midnight. I was so sad. I was gonna go to their concert because they were playing in Vancouver and I didn't end up going. They were like $40 for a ticket. So I was like, that's so cheap. But then for some reason, I just never ended up going. And I ended up just staying in the whole night. And I was like, I could have went. I don't know what I was thinking. I probably was thinking like, ah, I don't have enough money or whatever. But then it's like, I had enough. I could have went. I don't know what was holding me back. Anyway, I'm gonna put on highlight right now. Highlight and contour palette by Pure Cosmetics. The contour colors are so dark, but their highlighting is so good. I'm just gonna color called Originator. And Originator is a bit lighter. I think this is a palette definitely meant for a bit darker skin tones. Oh my, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. So glowy. What the heck? How did I like forget about this palette? Pure Cosmetics in general, their highlighting is so good. Oh yeah, Pure Cosmetics and then Ofra. Their highlighting is like on point. Especially like Ofra and Rodeo Drive. That's my all time favorite highlighter. It's so good. This is another one that's like super, super good. Oh my God, look at that. That's <laughs> so nice. But yeah, so now I know if I ever want to get stuff done, don't watch a series on Netflix. <laughs> Anyway, I was gonna say, basically it's like modern, their modern take on 80s music. So they have a lot of synths, basically all the 80s kind of like effects and all that. It's just like the quality and production is so much more clearer and more better, I guess, better quality. And then they have modern vocals and it's just oh, so good. I swear, The Midnight literally should have composed and written and did all the songs for Stranger Things. I swear that would have been so good because again, their production quality is so much better because obviously modern day production with music is just so much better quality than it was in the 80s, but they still keep the 80s style and they have modern vocals, so everything about it is just so perfect. I love 80s music to begin with, and like just having the Midnight kind of recreate, not recreate old songs, but just like recreate the whole vibe and energy with like new songs that they made and wrote, it's just amazing. And I swear they should have composed and written all of the songs for Stranger Things. I swear they're so good. I'm going to put on some lashes now. I'm just using Duo Glue with these cheap lashes I got on Amazon. No lie, they're like a dollar for a pack of five. <laughs> they're so cheap, but I love them so much. Oh my, these lashes are insane. Awesome. Oh shoot, I need setting spray. I'll be right back. Favorite setting spray, super simple. It's the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Setting Spray. And I also added my own rose water and glycerin to this, so it's super moisturizing. So I'm gonna just put on my favorite all-time lip product, the shade Push Up. It's by NYX, and my most favorite of all time lip product. It is so nice. This is the final look. I think I'm gonna freshen up a bit more with some highlighter. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. I can't get over how glowy that is. That is insane. Oh yeah, and then the last thing I'm gonna add on my lips is a Mega Last Liquid Lipstick by Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Honey Glaze. It's such a good liquid lipstick just to put on top of your lips just to make them so much more shimmery, but without needing lip gloss. Like. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. If any of you don't like applying lip gloss because it gets everywhere in your hair, but you still want a good like shimmer and shine and glow to your overall look and lips, then this liquid metallic liquid lipstick, oh yeah, 
Mm, look at that. <laughs> By um, Wet n Wild. It literally just makes your lips look so much more alive and glowy. And then also by Essence, there's a lip gloss called Shine, Shine, Shine in Bronze Goddess or something. Or no, bra Bright On, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking, Bronze Goddess. Maybe I think of a Bronze Goddess or Goddess every time I look at this. Put a bit of lip gloss on though, just because I don't mind the stickiness, but that's another option. If you don't like stickiness, use the Wet n Wild one. Oh yeah. I gotta shave my uh, mustache here. <laughs> I got going on. But anyway, that is my soft glam look. It's like very bronzy, I guess. I mean, actually, I could probably do an even more bronzier look if I tried. I'll show you in natural light what this actually looks like. I think it looks way better in natural light, to be honest. It's way less hard. I just love how shiny and bronzy my lips look. This is the final makeup look. <laughs> if you want to see more makeup looks from me, please subscribe. If you want to see more of me in general, post every Sunday and Thursday. Yeah, please like this video because it means a lot to me. I hope you all enjoy. Products will be linked down below, of course. I'm very happy. Honestly, if like makeup makes you feel more confident in any way, honestly, rock it. Like, do what makes you happy. I love putting on makeup because, again, it makes me feel good. Some days I don't want to wear makeup at all. And if I don't want to wear makeup or don't feel like it, then I don't. Just do what makes you happy. Don't feel like you have to wear makeup because then that defeats the purpose of makeup and feeling confident in the first place. You can feel completely confident with a full face of acne like I do every single day. I really could care less about what people think. As soon as you stop caring about what other people think, that is the biggest form of self-love you could ever give yourself, basically. <laughs> Comparison is the biggest thief of happiness, so don't compare yourself to anyone. Just think for yourself, and again, don't care what other people think. The thoughts of other people won't cut you a paycheck, it won't make you happy, <laughs> it won't pay your bills, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what? what's the point, you know? It's just a waste of time. So feel confident, makeup or not, you are beautiful. Let me know again if you want to see more videos like this or any like, <laughs> anything I could talk about, anything, self-confidence, whatever, comment down below what you want to see um, while I do my makeup. And yeah, see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>